Good evening, and a warm welcome back to the Refreshing Point. I will be sharing with you why the tomato may be a questionable fruit. The tomato is the most popular garden vegetable today. This could be because they are easy to grow in a family garden, and just a few plants provide an adequate harvest. This was not always the case. 200 years ago, our ancestors thought that tomatoes were poisonous. Tomatoes are the fruit of the nightshade plant and are native to South America. Question number one. Is the tomato a fruit or a vegetable? I remember when I first learned that tomatoes were a fruit, even though it is eaten like a vegetable. We were told this was true because the tomato had seeds on the inside. This did not seem like a logical argument to me, since there are other vegetables that have seeds inside such as green beans and peas. The biological rule for this classification is as follows. If the plant has flowers, fruits, and seeds, then it is a reproductive plant, and therefore it is a fruit. On the other hand, if the plant has parts, such as stems, like celery stalks, roots, similar to carrots, and leaves, such as lettuce, then it is considered a vegetative organ and is a vegetable. Question number two. Do tomatoes contain lectins that are toxic proteins and damage the gut? I recall hearing about this a few years ago. Even though tomatoes are among the richest dietary sources of lycopene, diets high in this phytonutrient have been shown to protect skin against sun damage lower the risk of prostate cancer, and reduce the risk of strokes. This information troubled me because for as long as I can remember, my family has always grown and eaten tomatoes. Botanically, tomatoes belong to the nightshade family, along with eggplants, peppers, and potatoes. Many health experts believe you should avoid the nightshade plant family altogether. According to these experts, tomatoes contain lectin, which can bind to cells on your gut wall, damaging the gut and preventing you from properly absorbing nutrients. Research has begun to show that some people are more sensitive to lectins than others. The peels and seeds of nightshades are where the lectin content is at its highest. Therefore, at the very least, You'll want to make sure to peel and de-seed these vegetables. You can also pressure cook or ferment them for the same results. Question number three. Can tomatoes contain alkaloids that may have irritating effects on the body, such as aggravated joint pain and inflammation? This can be worrisome, even though no scientific studies currently support these findings. The Arthritis Foundation reports that many patients do find this to be the case. Alkaloids have a bitter taste and deter insects from making a meal of the plant. They are mostly found in leaves, but some occur in the fruit. Good news, these alkaloids may not affect everyone. However, some people can be very sensitive to them because they can't digest them properly. People with inflammatory bowel disease should avoid eating foods from the nightshade family for this reason. If you have no health problems, tomatoes shouldn't cause difficulty. On the other hand, if you're someone who suffers from gastrointestinal sensitivity or bad heartburn, it could be a good time to avoid the nightshades and see what effect that has for you. As always, thank you for watching. Good day and good health.